My name is Paul Dunning, and after years of sitting in Alabama in shooting houses that were falling apart and doors wouldn't shut and windows were cracked or broken, uh, you almost fall through the floor sometimes. You know, I get it. You uh, don't spend a lot of money on shooting houses. You spend most of your money on the fields and getting the deers, but this year I was uh, <clears throat> kind of thinking about building a shooting house that I could, uh, you know, be comfortable in. Uh, and after years of running pro propane and uh, always, you know, having to deal with getting bottles there and back and forth and running out in the you know, 20 degrees outside and tank runs out and you have no backup. And <clears throat> anyway, the cost involved as well. I wanted to go kind of off grid for a uh, shooting house in my uh, in my acres that I hunt in. So what I did is I built what I believe is is the ultimate shooting house. And I'm going to take you on a tour and show you this right here. Okay? Y'all come with me. This is my shooting house. As you can see, there are three lanes. There's one. There's another one that goes this direction and then one behind me that goes this direction you also have some woods that you can see through this side and i've built the ultimate shooting house it has got four sides to it i built it with two by fours uh, treated pine i put um it's an eight by six so that i could have a platform on the back side and I put some bracing and some decking actually put a little stain on the steps and on the back porch there to give it some longevity <clears throat> we call it the eagle's nest but this is a natural cut wood that comes from a local uh, guy here But as you open this door up, we have some wood paneling that I stained. I have a gun rack. I have a chair with a memory foam cushion. I have electric heaters that runs off of 120 that I powered, there's five of those. As you can see, I have a TV as well in case I wanna watch some football. I have a little LED light that I can use. And what I did is I put a solar panel on top of the building. <clears throat> Let me turn this TV off for a second. I put a solar panel on top of the building. It's 120 watts <clears throat> that comes into this controller. The controller goes to the battery, which is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. And then that battery goes to an inverter that's 2000 watts. And I got these car heaters here. They're 12 volt car heaters and I mounted those. And so now I can just flip a switch on those and they'll start blowing heat out of those and circulating throughout the day, especially when the sun's at its peak. But as you can see, I have 360 degree windows all the way around. I have bow and arrow windows as well that I can slide out and I can slide these windows out to the side all the way around for views everywhere. <clears throat> I have little snacks. I have power strips over here as well that I can charge my phone in, listen to music. And nowadays with these light bulbs, it's really neat and easy to do color changing light bulbs. And I choose red for hunting. And then I have a recliner that I can pull out. I also have some drinks and some water here that uh, in case I get thirsty, but I just wanted to show everybody my, my new hunting uh, shooting house and just kind of get some ideas on what you think. I caulked it in all the way inside and also caulked the outside, all the windows all the windows have uh, foam inlays that you can get from your local hardware stores to keep the weather in and out. 
And then, as you can tell, I, I think we did a great job. I sealed all the holes in, also foam sprayed the interior walls as I was building it um, because I wanted to make sure that as many pests as I could keep out that I would try to do my best. It's gonna be impossible to do completely, but uh, for the most part, I think it would be okay. And then I'll show you the front side. I have some skirting that I've ordered that's coming in in two days that I'm gonna just put skirting all the way around it. But that is the front side of my shooting house. As you can tell, the view's beautiful. I haven't worked on this field yet. I just planted some ryegrass in it to get me by for the rest of the season. But next year I'll have a uh, mixture of soy and, uh, and rye. Anyway, so that's my video. And I wanted to post this, my first video on YouTube, just to show everybody with a little hard work and some uh, little minor concepts in your head, you can make things happen like this. So very proud of the shooting house and uh, hope to have many great trips with me and my family and friends.